Many have exciting plans with the summer coming up, celebrations, trips to the beach and more. Yes, and there's another way you can prep, getting up to date on your COVID vaccines and boosters. Our Lauren Richardson visited Community Health and Wellness Center in Torrington. She's got more. Making health a number one priority. We are here to serve everyone. We don't turn anyone away, regardless of your ability to pay. We don't care if you have Medicaid, if you're uninsured, if you have a commercial insurance. We're here to make sure that um, patients receive quality health care because it really is a right and it should never be thought of as a privilege. That's the motto here at Community Health and Wellness Center in Torrington. Joanne Bourgeois, the CEO, says they have a multitude of services they offer. Here in the northwest corner, there's a very big barrier of lack of transportation. So our goal is to not only deliver high quality, cost effective, affordable care, but to also make it convenient. So when you come here, you can receive medical, dental, behavioral health. You could get your lab work done if that's ordered for you before you leave. And a big benefit, they also provide COVID-19 vaccines and boosters. We are very lucky here to have uh, built a COVID-19 clinic uh, with a nurse who pretty much handles all of the requests for that for children and adults, Monday through Friday. Um, and again, calling our location to make an appointment for that. And if you do come here, you'll get a great uh, COVID gift that will help you stay safe and take care of yourself at home. Now, in the start of the pandemic, I know everybody, there was like a huge surge of people who obviously got their vaccine, but like, why is it still important to get it? Yeah, so it's great to stay up to date. There's always new variants that are coming out um, because everyone's getting boosted. Um, so it's just good to have um, that immunity. It doesn't last, um, you know, a lifetime like some of the previous vaccines that we've gotten in, a, in our childhood. Um, so it's good to stay up to date. It roughly lasts about six to eight months. Um, so it's good to continue to get your your vaccine to keep you know those around you healthy as well. We want people to still consider getting a vaccine because it's the best way that we know right now to keep you healthy. Um, COVID is still out there. The numbers are still fluctuating. It is the end of the public health crisis coming up. Um, but it is still something that can make people quite ill. And if patients have underlying conditions, hypertension, respiratory issues, things like that, they're gonna be more at risk. Pfizer and Moderna are both offered here, and now several years later, studies show how effective they are. Having COVID itself is, I mean, it's debilitating. Um, some people end up in the emergency room, so getting the vaccine will definitely help um, lessen the side effects and hopefully prevent you from having to even go to the emergency room. Vaccines are offered for everyone six months and older. We are working with area pediatrician offices as well as other community partners to let them know that we are going to be having some upcoming uh, COVID vaccination clinics specifically for children. And we do have parents reach out to us who have situations that they feel um, represent a need to have their child vaccinated sooner than later um, and they're very grateful that we're offering that. Officials say following up with boosters every year is the safest way to protect you and your family. Right now the booster um, is recommended annually so that you can um, keep those levels high enough in your blood that you're able to fight COVID if you should be exposed to it. Um, but there, you know, are always changing the recommendations. So it's always best to stay up to date with what um, the CDC recommends in terms of vaccination based on your age and your health conditions. If transportation is an issue for medical checkups, we also do home visits. We work with our local health department, and if they get requests for someone who might be homebound, we will take our Betty, which is our mobile medical unit, out on the road, and we will go to the patient's home so we can uh, help them meet that need without inconveniencing them to try and get here. Overall, community health and wellness in Torrington provides a caring environment that can't be beat. When they come into our facility, we do really have this logo that says it's our family taking care of yours and we have staff here that truly believe in that. Um, so we offer community health workers to meet with patients who may mention that they struggle, whether it be 
paying for their services or finding a way to get here for transportation. Most of our patients, now that we're able to not have our masks on, um, they actually know us now and anytime we're walking across like the waiting room, they'll come up and say, hi, hey, how are you doing? Like just checking in. So our patients are honestly the best. <laughs> Hmm. All right, well, Community Health and Wellness Center also has an office in Winstead. You can get C-T-O-R-R dot org. That information is on your screen, or you can call the Torrington phone number, 860-489-0931. The Winstead office is 860-238-4211.